What's up? Today, we're going to talk about something highly requested on the channel. The last video is doing very, very well, and I thank you guys for that. But there are lots of comments saying, how do you film your ads? How do you make ads? What constitutes a good dropshipping ad from a bad dropshipping ad? I'm going to show you with examples. So let's go into CapCut and pull up some past ads that I've made. And I'm going to explain to you guys why these are good and hopefully get something out of it. Ad number one. Now, do not take inspiration from this product. I'm not saying sell this product. This is a very, very, very old ad and the product is probably not viable anymore as it's probably saturated by now. But this is an example of an ad that is heavily edited, which is not always necessary at all. It's heavily edited from audio effects to video effects to smooth transitions and text transitions. This is not required at all, but if you wanna spice up your ads a bit, you have to do it properly. So I'm gonna play this ad for you guys and explain it once you're done watching it. So why is this ad so good? Well, for a couple of reasons. I'm gonna elaborate soon, but just to kind of list them off very quickly, the text actually gives very little information. It just says, you got tired of playing the same old drinking games and decided to create your own. Now, I remember making this caption because I understood that the market size for drinking games, the demand is huge and the actual product is very low. There's like four different fun drinking games, four different mainstream ones. It's like Cards Against Humanity. That's really all I can even think of. So that's why I thought this game would be fantastic at the time. So that was the reasoning behind the hook. I wanted to target people who like drinking games, but have been playing the same game for a very, 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 very long time. This was ran on TikTok because TikTok is full of college kids and college kids, they drink almost every single weekend, usually with games of some sort. This, what is this? This is something very powerful that nobody ever uses. This is a bold statement saying something very bold about your product, saying this is the best. This is the greatest. This one even says by far. So this tops cards against humanity. This tops absolutely everything. This is the most offensive card game you will ever play in your entire life. There's only one way for them to find out, and that's if they buy it. So that's why bold claims are pretty great. Just make sure you can back it up to some extent, or else your refund rate is going to be pretty high. Now we have examples of the products. These are stabilized pan shots of the actual product. Yes, I ordered this to my house from Amazon. It took like two days. If you're selling a small product like this, I'd highly recommend if you live in the US at least, order off Amazon. It takes like a day, two days max, and you can film your own content. Unlimited content glitch. You don't have to worry about stealing other people's content, and it's just it's just fantastic. So again, another sort of bold statement, but this one is less about the text and more about the actual video. I'm showing the product. I'm showing what's inside, what they're gonna get. After that, I simply just show the front and I make a sort of exit statement. Think you can handle it? Pretty simple. Every single one of your ads does not have to have a call to action. It doesn't have to. Are call to actions good? Yes. Should they be in every single one of your ads? No, they should not. Test ads without call to actions. Test organic looking ads. Test every kind of ad you possibly can and stick with the ones that work. Stick with the style that works. Too many of your ads are copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. If all five of your ads are structured the exact same and you test all five of them, odds are they're all going to do poorly or they're all going to do well. It's kind of an all in one bundle. You want to kind of make your ads as different as you possibly can. By the time this video is out, it's going to be October 1st-ish. So if you want to hear me yap more about ad creatives, website creation, marketing, targeting, literally everything front to back with e-commerce, apply to fill one of the spots in my coaching program. It's the first link in the description. All the spots filled last month very, very quickly. But now 10 new spots are open and it's October 1st. It's the first day of them being open. First come, first serve. Small disclaimer, just because you apply does not mean you're going to be accepted. You will be interviewed and then we'll decide if you're a good fit. Following points I'm going to make about ad creatives are on this notion board right here just to kind of keep track. For a quick breakdown, your ads are not your site. The purpose of an ad is to get the viewer to click, not buy. The purpose of your site is to get the viewer to buy after they click and creatives are all about building curiosity. These are going to be the the holy grail of rules for your creatives, and I'm going to break them down. Starting with the first one, your ads are not your site, dude. They're not your site. I have personally coached so many one-on-one -on -one people at this point that I can confidently say the number one mistake when it comes to your ad creatives, besides spelling all your words properly, would be trying to sell too hard in your ads. Your website is deemed useless when you take all of your website benefits and paste them into your ad. You're putting your website in your ad creative and that's allowing the customer to make a decision within the creative. That's not the goal. The goal of the creative is to get them to click. The goal of the website is to get them to buy. All the offers, discounts, fantastic benefits that take a paragraph to write, website. Quick hooks, 
quick, interesting hooks, creative. They don't have to decide if they want to buy or not in the ad. Stop acting like that's the only weapon you have. You also have a website. But first, a quick pause in the video. If you're new to the channel, this is AutoDS. If you're not new to the channel, you know about AutoDS. AutoDS is fantastic. If your supplier is slow, stupid, and charging you way too much for your products, source it here. Now, there are a ton of different amazing products like this one right here, Jesus Calling better pick it up that you can sell on AutoDS. And there are a ton of different features that come with using AutoDS. But for today, I'm going to talk about print on demand, because if you do not already know, I'm currently running a print on demand drop shipping store. And a lot of people ask me some of the best ways to source your print on demand products. Well, this is one of them. They have a humongous selection of literally any clothing item you could want, even tie dye shirts. I don't exactly know what you'd design with tie dye shirts, but you get the point. A lot of print on demand suppliers do not have children's clothing. AutoDS has children's clothing. And trust me, from somebody who has kind of used every single print on demand supplier there is available online, these prices are some of the lowest I have literally ever seen. I could literally keep scrolling forever to show you guys these products, but nobody quite does it like AutoDS. I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you want a 30 day free trial with AutoDS, click the first link in the description. Back to the topic of the video and the glasses came off because it's about to get serious. I want to talk about curiosity, in particular, a very famous saying, curiosity killed the cat. This saying implies that a cat was in a situation where so much curiosity was built up, they could not help but to check it out. And in doing so, they died. But ignore that last part. That's not what I'm trying to kind of get at here. What I'm trying to get at is that the point of your ads, like I said before, are not for the customer to necessarily buy. The point of the ad is to build curiosity and just get them to click, literally just get them to click. That is your only mission. You can do so by making, like we talked about in the beginning of the video with the example, bold statements, naming a few of the product's benefits, but not all of them. Do not use up every single weapon in your arsenal when making an ad, please. Give the customer the illusion of choice. Don't put your price in the ad. Don't put your offer in the ad. And if you're going to, which I've seen at work, you can do it, do it in the caption and don't do so for all five of your ads. Do it for like two ads. Have two ads, very salesy. Here's the offer. Here's the price. Maybe that'll work. Who knows? But have three ads, just all about building curiosity. Just build up as much curiosity as possible. The more curiosity, the higher chance that you're going to kill the cat. But in this sense, you're not killing anybody or anything. You're just getting the customer to click. Curiosity is the word of the day, to put it lightly. And as long as you really take everything that I just said in this video seriously, your ad creative copy and overall structure should improve. Because that's the biggest thing people miss. They put their entire website in their ad and they leave no room left for their website to do its job. The point of the website is to get people to buy. So please use it that way. The point of the ad is to get somebody to click. Use the ad that way. That's part of your funnel. Your funnel is probably backwards right now. If you go look at your ads right now, they probably list your entire website and your website is just a copy of your ads. And that's not good. You have a backwards funnel. No bueno. Not good. I hope you guys were genuinely able to extract something from this video. If so, leave a comment. Let me know your favorite piece of information so I can make more videos on that piece of information. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great rest of your day or night. Peace.